welcoming you to the Royal London Theater here in London, England. Our main event should be a good one tonight. Ten rounds among heavyweights. We are looking forward to this fight, especially after seeing what happened at the weigh-in yesterday. A stare down that nearly resulted in a bout breaking out right there. Now they get to do it for real. Heading out of Washington, D.C., the greatest. All right, fellas, let's have a good, clean fight. Touch them up and let's go. Number one is now underway. All the talk is done. It is simply time to fight. So timing is a critical element for an outside fighter to the right. Yeah, it's so important because if you don't get that punch off at the right time, you're just a split second late. The shorter man has closed the gap already. Right there, but he also gave one solid effort by Kid Dynamite. <laughs> Committing well now to that left hand over the top. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by the greatest. Good two-punch combo by the greatest. And now targeting his opponent with the overhand right. So he decides to go downstairs early on, and I think he'll be happy with that decision later on. Well, it tells you that he's a well-prepared fighter. His corner came in here with a good game plan. They understood what they had in front of them. A guy that's going to move a little bit. Start going downstairs, taking the air out of the tires, and later on, he'll be in front of you. Final 10 seconds. And we come to the end of round number one. I need you to string your punches together. Three, four punches at a time, okay? You understand? Get close to the jab and follow up with two more punches. Uppercut, then left. Uppercut with the... Don't stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with this guy. Keep your... Here we go, round two is underway. Up top with the right hand. The greatest is blocking ability is doing well for him there. Well targeted combination by the greatest. There's the headshot, but he parries it away. What impact with that uppercut by the greatest. Look at that combination by the greatest. Halfway through round number two. That's a good left hand by Kid Dynamite. Not able to land the headshot. Good solid overhand left. Able to land another power shot early on here, Teddy. Does he have to worry about trying to keep up this pace? No, I don't think so. If he keeps at this pace, he's not going to be around to worry. And now he scores well with a straight right. Left hand over the top, he's accurate with it. You're doing great. <laughs> 
Ten seconds to go in this round. A quick, devastating hook by Kid Dynamite. You have to keep your distance. Stay away from him. Keep throwing that jab. Don't dunk yourself. Oh, you still win this one. You don't need that. Round number three is underway. Nice work. Nice Scores up top with a left. You got to love the offense there, putting his punches together. That's just good, solid, accurate work by the greatest. Oh, good defense there. That was a fine block by Kid Dynamite. Jabbing a straight by the greatest. All offense by Kid Dynamite. You got this one. The greatest is combination punching here is showing you what good boxing is all about. Three punches thrown, three punches landed. What a trap he just set, and he lands a nice counter punch. Yeah, that's the old cast with a ghost trick there. You know, you're there one time, you give him a little shade, you know, a little shadow, and then he throws at you, you pull back, bang, come right back with your old. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by the greatest. Relax. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own a left-hand scores. Ten seconds to go in this third round. Okay, now, very nice. Moving with two jabs. Kid Dynamite's enjoying a lead on Teddy's scorecard the first time we look at the scores ringside here tonight. Although, early on here, it's not as if either man is in complete control of this fight. Well, I don't know if he's hip to the idea of becoming a counterpuncher, but I get the sense you'd agree with it. Yeah, definitely. I mean, he's got the perfect platform, the perfect form for it. The guy's walking in right now, not moving his head much. He can time him, he can counter him. <laughs> Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Goes up top with the right hand. Halfway through round number four. Kid Dynamite's combination punching is working well here. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by the greatest. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. There you go. There's the combo to the body. Fine work with the left hand. He landed well by Kid Dynamite. Kid Dynamite's given us a good showcase of defense here tonight, especially up top his head movement is just sublime and his opponents cooperating with him a little bit because he's getting frustrated he's looking for that big shot and he's continuing to miss he's making no adjustments a guy's moving his head you know what you want to do a little bit what's that well you want to feign him a little bit make him make a premature move and then when he moves to either side then you time him with a punch don't just go out there flailing away back 
to live action now in what has been a closely contested fight. One of those fights that somebody is still waiting to break through and be a difference maker in. Solid right by Kid Dynamite. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Nice strike after catching one by Kid Dynamite. Zoning in on that gut. Combination punch downstairs. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. That's it, just like that. Didn't get it done going to the body there. Wow, is he defensively sound. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Kid Dynamite. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. The greatest is putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. He returns the favor with a right hand of his own. Coming to the end of round number five, last ten seconds. The greatest knowledge of the game is showing through. Three ways to defend, one of them is to block. He did it there well. This round comes to an end. A round in which this fighter threw a lot of punches, didn't land a lot of punches. I'll tell you, what advice can you give to him if you're the trainer? Well, first of all, deal with the psychological part. Joe, don't forget, 75% of this game is psychological. Don't let him get discouraged because even though he's not going to say nothing, in his head he's starting to get discouraged. Just say to him, hey, listen, you're going to catch him. Let's shorten him up a little bit. And you know what? He's moving his head, so go to the body because now you're going to hit him a little in the body because the body's not moving. Super two-punch combo by the greatest. Well, you could see what he wanted to do there, but unable to land that body shot. Flush right hand to the head. Staying away from those head shots with his defense up top. Good step back, counter punch there. Beautiful. Reaching the halfway point of round number six. Good job with another left hand. It's all right, just keep moving. See, the defense pays off as he gets rid of that downstairs. The greatest is scoring with that right hand. What guts it takes, what commitment it takes to keep up with this kind of a pace. The action's been nonstop. Now, the one thing I can tell you is this is where you don't worry about pace. You don't think about pace. Otherwise, you could not be doing what these guys are doing. They're just going round to round. Precise at all by Kid Dynamite. <laughs> Trying to time that straight left hand, and he does so with ease. Ten clicks of the tuck. And that's the end of round six. His dynamite's in dominating form here tonight. He's doing everything he wanted to do, and he's ahead on our scorecards ringside. Yeah, but don't forget, he's in the other guy's hometown. So don't let up too soon. Don't start partying too soon. You know, still keep doing the thing. Don't get lazy out there, all right? Don't get lazy. You're winning this fight. Keep your hands up. Right? You have to keep your hands up.
another round, will it go in another one-way direction? It's been a one-sided fight so far tonight. Nice block by Kid Dynamite. Oh, veteran move, counter shot to the head. Kid Dynamite's giving his opponent headaches here now. He's throwing punches, but he's able to block them away. Halfway through the seventh round. Well-targeted two-punch combo by the greatest. The greatest has got to be feeling the sting of that big, powerful hook. Still not moving enough. Move, move! You got this. Good run. defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Able to get away from that headshot with the blocks. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire it right back with one of his own. Good work by the greatest. Coming towards the end of the seventh round, 10 seconds to go. He comes back with the left hand again. And the bell rings, signifying the end of the round. Teddy, your scorecard through seven rounds. One of the most basic principles of scoring a fight is who did the clean and effective punching. Kid Dynamite's done that tonight. He's been very effective throughout. Uh, yes, he has, Joe. He's followed that to a T. Punch by the greatest. Obviously, defense becomes so important for him now. That cut around the eye could stop this fight at any point. What should he be trying to do here defensively, Teddy? Well, obviously, it's got to be one of two things. You're either going to be moving your head or you're going to be using those legs right now. Able to dismiss that body shot. The greatest missing the mark by a mile. That just was nowhere to be found. Well timed by the greatest. He took a step back, landed the counter punch. Exactly what he wanted to do. That right hand is becoming a crush. He can just lean on it now. Blocks that punch. Kid Dynamite's done a good job there, offensively scoring with that left hand. The greatest defense is now serving him well. Nice job blocking that punch. A well-placed uppercut by Kid Dynamite. See, that's what you want from his left hand. That's exactly what it should be doing, that left hand by Kid Dynamite. Last 10 seconds of the eighth round. Very nice work to the head. The right hand landed. And this round comes to an end. The greatest cut man is going to earn his pay for sure. That is a bad gash. And I'm wondering what he's using in there. You know, you can only use certain things. Avertine, adrenaline, and thrombin. I'm wondering if he's using legal things right now because that's the kind of cut that tempts you to use crazy glue. Good combination. Hook into the body with the left and then going up top with the right. The greatest is starting to bleed from the... Oh, and he got caught right there. Everything was going fine and then he got caught. Well, that's the problem. It was going too fine. He got a full sense of security. The other guy wasn't throwing back. He took for granted and bang, you can't take for granted in this ring. Good way to protect the midsection. He got hit right 
there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by the greatest. What an excellent two-punch combo by the greatest. He missed with that headshot. Protecting his head well with his guard. How about that left hand? Teddy has a hard-working trainer. You must love what you're seeing here. And that's a fighter that looks just as strong, just as fresh as the first round. Yeah, this is a guy that knows he gets better as the fight goes on. But not only that, he understands what being a pro is. A pro isn't being good for four rounds, for six rounds. It's being good for the whole night. And that's exactly what he embraces. A good two-punch combo by the greatest. Comes right back at him with a left hand. 